This tutorial was referenced from videocopilot.net. Today I'm going to show you how to create an audio generated animation using After Effects. Now I'll just give you a quick example. This is one that I created for uh, an assignment for school. Um, the characters, the characters are moving to the beat of the music once the bass and go to the treble. Now they were created in Photoshop and then exported as PNGs and the background was done in Flash. Uh, so before we get started what you need to do is design yourself some characters. Uh, we'll stop this here and we'll jump across to After Effects. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is import our uh, project elements. So just right click on projects uh, and import our files. We've got our uh, background, our music and our two characters. Um, we'll just click on uh, the top ones of flash, so the background, and then we've got the two characters here, so the bass and the treble. We'll bring the, uh, the flash swath down to the film clip to create a composition, which is uh, here. You just flick through it, you can see that it's moving. And then we'll grab our two characters and bring them and drag them down directly onto the timeline above the background. Um, uh, you can see them there. What we'll do is we'll just turn those off for now. So click the little eye next to each character. And then we'll bring the audio track down onto our timeline. And that's where we'll begin. So we'll uh, just drop the menu down here. And then we'll go up to effects, um, audio, uh, bass, and treble. We'll just open up the, the effect here. And what we're going to do is increase the bass to 50 and decrease the treble to minus 100. We're now going to extract the audio by right clicking on the track, uh, going to keyframe assistance and convert to audio. We now have our uh, audio amplitude uh, appearing in our timeline. This is our base. So we'll rename this base and then we'll repeat the process for treble. So I'll click on the effect, come up and change base to minus 100 and treble to 50. And then once again, we'll extract the audio by right-clicking on the track, uh, keyframe assistance, convert audio to keyframes. Audio amplitude appears in our timeline. We'll rename this one treble. And then what we'll do is we'll just close uh, the drop-down menus here for the audio track as that is done, and we'll open up both uh, treble and bass. Uh, what we're going to do here is delete both the left and right hand channels, uh, leaving just both channels for both treble and bass. Now, if we have the sliders visible on both the treble and the bass and scrub through the timeline, we'll see that the values differ for both treble and bass. These uh, values are what we're going to use to animate our animation. So we click on the transform a tab and hold down Alt and and click on the stopwatch next to position. We're going to use this, our pick whip tool, to parent our position to the, to the value of the slider. If we just drop that there, we now have an, we can now see an expression over here that is saying that our position is parented to the slider. The first temp here is the value of the slider, so we're going to rename that treble. We're then going to jump onto the second line and add value plus. Um, now these two temps are both the x and y axis of the position. The x axis is uh, left to right, uh, the y axis is up and down. So we only want uh, this to move up and down. So we're going to make the x axis 0 and we're going to make the y axis equal to the treble value. Now if we scrub through the timeline we say our null object is now moving um, up and down. So what we'll do is we'll repeat that process for base. Uh, so we'll come down to transform, alt click on position, and use a pickwick to parent our position to the slider. Now with our expression over here, we're going to change the value of the slider this time to base. Um, and we'll add value plus to the front of this expression and change the x-axis to zero and the y-axis to base. If we scrub through the timeline now, we can see both the base and treble are moving. Uh, to make it easier, we'll change 
the color of the base to a blue. And then we'll uh, just move the, the null object. Uh, so now if we scrub through, we can see uh, the base and treble, how they move. But they're not really moving enough, so we want to exaggerate that a bit. So we're going to come back up the treble um, and alt click on the stopwatch next to the slider. Now, the expression that comes up is equal to the current value of the slider. So if we deleted that and just wrote value, it would mean the same thing. It would still equate to the current position of the slider is zero. Uh, but that's not what we're going to use. So we're going to add linear in front of uh, value, uh, open brackets, uh, value, comma, zero, comma, 100, comma, zero, comma, 500, close brackets. Uh, now what this is saying is uh, we're setting pra parameters of be uh, between 0 and 100 is now equal to uh, 0 to 500. Now if we just click on the graph uh, button up here and click on slider, we can see what the current parameters are of the slider. Um, the high value is 10 and the low value is uh, 0. We want to try and get what the average is. Um, in this case we'll probably say the high value is on average 9 and we'll say uh, 0 0.5 for the low value. So if we go back to the expression, um, we'll just turn the graph back off and click on the expression. We're going to change the high value to 9 and the low value to 0 0.5. Uh, so if we go back and scrub through it, we can now see uh, the movement. Um, the high value is probably too high, but we'll just uh, open it up a bit more and have a look. Yeah, so it drops right off the screen, so, so we'll change it to 100 and see how that looks. Um, yep, so that is looking pretty good. So what we'll do now is repeat the process for the base. So I'll click on the slider and it will change the expression to the uh, same as before. So that was linear, open brackets, value, comma, 0, comma, 100, comma, 0, comma, 500, close brackets. Now we need to uh, find out what the high and low values are for the base. So if we have a look at the graph, uh, we've got here the high value is uh, about 58, 60 almost, and the low value is zero. We'll say uh, probably for this one, we'll change the high value to uh, 55, and the low value to 0 0.5. Um, if we scrub through the line now, we should see the movement. 500 probably still looks too much, so we'll change that to 100, and then we'll do uh, we'll preview it. So back to the start, and just press space, and we'll let it render a bit, and then drag it back to the start, and play it, and we'll play it through. So let's have a look. Okay, that looks good. So all we need to do now is parent our uh, base and treble uh, imagery of the kangaroos to those null objects. So if we just turn them back on, so click on the eyes next to them, come across to the parent drop down menu and parent it to the base and to the treble as we named it. Um, we will want to alter the position a bit, so drop the menu down and just uh, drag on the value of the position on the x-axis. So we'll move uh, the base across and then come down to the treble and do the same for the treble. So uh, just move the, on the x-axis again and move the, the, the kangaroo across there. Uh, that is uh, us done. All we need to do is turn the uh, treble and base null objects off. So if we have a look there, we can see it working. We'll just turn that off. So turn the eyes off. And if we press space, we can see our finished product. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial uh, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.